my dad and I have bow hunted together since I was like 14 or 15 years old. Um, and so we're going on 17 years now. And before that, he brought me into the woods when I was four. So my whole life I've been hunting with my dad, you know. I couldn't imagine a day where I don't hunt with my dad. I'm a diabetic. And there's going to be a day that uh, I won't be able to hunt. Last year, when I was hunting with a buddy, I think I was talking about bow hunting with my dad or something like that, and uh, he just looked at me and said, hey, I hope my son and I have the kind of relationship you and your dad have when he grows up. And that hit me hard. I never think about how fortunate I am to have a hunting buddy, no matter what, you know. I always take it for granted, that special bond that we have, and uh, a lot of people don't get that. And I've been very, very fortunate. My son can get, he's gung-ho, and this old guy sometimes can't keep up, but we always seem to do good. It is finally here. Oregon archery season is upon us, starts tomorrow. I'm headed up to camp right now. My dad should be up there at our camp spot not getting the time off this year that I normally do, but, uh, you know, neither is my dad. He's actually working nights, so it's going to be tough. Hopefully it works out. We're going to have fun no matter what, and, uh, yeah, I just want to document the time my dad and I have together out hunting. It's so damn special to me. I owe him everything for introducing me to hunting. Without him, I don't know what I'd be doing. got camp set up we're gonna make some steaks and jalapenos bacon wrapped jalapenos and hopefully do some scouting tonight was a little four point in that unit. But somebody up above us decided to trespass and sound like Doug Foody up there. So we're gonna head back to camp, regroup, get some coffee, maybe some breakfast, and go find somewhere else.
that changed and everything went silent. Well, we came up with a name for our show. We were going to call ourselves Almost Outdoors because we almost get it done a lot. So we're going to head up the canyon. Well, that bull gave us the slip again. This will be the third time I've been on this big old, he's huge. We both got to work tomorrow. We're gonna go home and relax and we'll be back next weekend. Somebody decided to drive in the unit and then drive over to the next road and then drive over to the next road. So, <sighs> part one of our elk hunt is over. Part two will begin January 5th. We both drew late bow season for elk, so we will be back. One of the more frustrating seasons we've had. We're in elk every day, but just never had time to get it done, so. We'll be back.